I did at least two or three passports in this manner. Okay. And I did it in good faith. Um, I could recall one Mr. Mr. Robinson. I guess some of us here can recall Mr. Robinson was the gentleman in Orange Walk that was burnt. I think he had about 95, 96% of the body burnt. And it was a life and death situation. He had to be flown out of the country like the following day when the family came to my office. That was in Belize City. Mr. Robinson could not move from the hospital bed. And Mr. Robinson needed to go. I, um, the family came to see me. And they expressed their concern. And I said, OK, I have to go and see Mr. Robinson. I visited the hospital. I saw Mr. Robinson. And um, I asked the wife if she can provide me with a photograph. And I, I tried. We need to explain that our system and a lot of our, our systems here are, are donations. Mm -hmm. And these donations are not programmed for us. They are programmed for stuff in the US. But when we get these, these, these um, systems or these machines, we try to adapt them or make them to suit us the best way, the best way possible. We were supposed to have a portable system which never accompanied our system, our present system. What do you mean have. a portable system? A portable system, a system that you can... You take it to hospital. That can go, okay. we can move, yeah. we can go to Halakte, we can go to Corozal, we can and take the photograph and do, you know, do the data and that information would be brought back to the passport office and the mm, passport but, is done. But naturally in this case, the photograph would not have assisted anyway with Mr. Robinson since he was badly burnt. Uh, so, right. Right. And